Okay, so Hotfoot from the Emerald stage, where he's been guesting with Sidewinder, is uh, is Bucket. Hi, lovely to see you. Hi, nice to see you, Neil. Now, you sent me 14 years with Bad Company. Yeah, yeah, I joined in 1990 and played on seven albums and toured the world with them. And My goodness. So, uh, And what brings you then, so talk me through the story then, from Bad Company to guesting with Sidewinder, you're also guesting with another group here. Uh, yeah, the, I the, mean, uh, the drummer was, is Sidewinder, Clive Edwards, was with me in Frankie Miller's Four House and we played Cambridge Rock two years ago right. and he knew I was in town so he said come and play a couple of songs and uh, I'm here to play with Brillo tomorrow, a band from New Zealand who um, I just did a tour of New Zealand with Rip Wilson, Foreigner and Brillo were our opening act and they're great bands so I'm going to play a few songs with them tomorrow as well. So when you play songs as a guest like this, do you have to secretly go into a corner and learn their stuff or you, uh, do, you, do you come up with stuff by mutual consent? <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, one text message usually, you know. And that's enough? Yeah, I think we only ever rehearsed three times in Bad Company in 14 years and that's only because we had three different lead singers. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. What's the secret then? I mean, you see so many of these musicians here and we've had situations in the past where half a band hasn't turned up but being it's the rock festival there's always a spare guitarist keyboard everyone's around yeah. what's the secret then to a, to a band just being able to get together like that well and just play playing with um, kindred spirits really or the same sort of vibe you know i mean you know if it, i wouldn't get up with like a death metal band for example sure. you know i can't play that fast <laughs> <laughs> so it's and you know it, been in the business a long time you do tend to know the guys from other bands and you know we've all played together under some form you know I mean Jim Cregan's on tonight um, I played with Jim before in the Jones gang Kenny Jones's band right. and, uh, the drummer with that band is Harry James from Thunder who was on my last solo album so it's all kind of you know the network really it really is who knows who knows um, it's a new album called 20 Good Summers um, really pleased with it. We just did our debut show at Sweden Rock three weeks ago right. and uh, went down a storm there. So, yeah, it's a good album. So and what did you do it. first? Did you test some of these tracks out live and then go back to a studio or do you, no, no. Do you write them and perfect no, them in the studio? This, this band is a partnership between me and the, the drummer, um, Paul Edwards, who played with me in a band called 720 th 35 years ago or something. This is the album we should have made 35 years ago, you know. <laughs> So we've written this together and we've got a fantastic lead singer in Jim Stapley who was with me in the Jones Gang for five or six years, Kenny Jones's band. Um, but Jim lives in America, Taft lives in Gozo which is in the middle of the Mediterranean so uh, it's a bit of a job getting an album together as you can imagine. Yeah. But yeah, but you did all do it in the studio together or did you uh, record, yeah, I mean, yeah, record did your a, parts? Taff and I did a lot in Gozo. Um, Jim did the vocals in America. Right. Uh, I went to Nashville to mix it. Um, yeah, so all over the place, really. And you mentioned there about YouTube and Facebook and all this. As a, as a hardened rocker, though, how easy is it to, uh, to adapt to this new technology, this new way of, of shifting music, new way of getting out there where well, the Neil, youngsters are sort of born into it, aren't they? Yeah, Neil, you have to, you know. If you don't, you know fans are going to embrace another band that do you know you can't just dig your heels in yeah. and say i'm not doing that you just got to get your head around it which isn't easy you know um but do you find it's given you a sort of a new public, a new life? Because people on Facebook may not have come across your music before, but yeah. it's, a, it's a new medium for them and it's it, a new it way is, of... Like yeah, it's more instant, you know. I mean, if you're going to go on, like in the old days, when you do world tours for two years, you know, it takes you a long time to reach a certain amount of yeah. people. But now, you know, boom, you get... A couple of clicks I and mean, you've got a million people. We've already... We did a, a crowdfunding... Uh, thing for this record, you know, and people have bought it from all over Scandinavia, Japan, and everything already, you know. So that's a great way of doing it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. All right. So what's uh, you've got the uh, you've got the tours and things on the go. What's next? When when are you going to sit and go? Do you know what? I think I've toured enough, or is that never going to oh, happen? Oh, that's not likely. No, no never no, going to happen. No, I, I just love it. I've always got a, a bag packed and a guitar ready to go. And, uh, <laughs> No, I mean, that's why I you'd get up and guess with all these bands. I just love playing, you know. Right. It's like a bit like going to the opening of an envelope, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the Rock Festival, Cambridge Rock Festival, always a good feeling here, it isn't is, there? Yeah, always yeah, a good vibe. Yeah, always come here and, uh, 
This is the first time I've been to the new site and it looks lovely. So uh, it is. They seem to have it all sorted and everything. Yeah. And it's a little bit cooler today for you. It must be hell playing up on stage and some of the t oh, temperatures we've had. Uh, last night I guested with Brillo um, at the Troubadour in London. I've never been so hot in all my life. No. I mean, I absolutely melted. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Bucky, it's been really lovely to meet you. Good luck with the new album. Thank you very much. And uh, well, we'll see you around. Hopefully we'll see you back here next year. Yeah. All right. Neil, thanks, thanks very much indeed. Cheers, Cheers, fella.